How's it going, everybody? This is Juan Galt with Crypto TV. I've got uh, a very interesting conversation for you guys with Elena Vranova. She is one of the co-founders of Satoshi Labs, which is also the creator, the company that created Trezor, the first hardware wallet, and maybe the best hardware wallet that there is, uh, open source hardware, open source software. If you don't know about Trezor, um, you really should look into them right now. You can pause it, come back, we'll be here. Um, she recently uh, revealed that she's been the head of strategy for another company that's been really uh, entering the news lately and becoming visible called Casa Hodl. It's a premium Bitcoin Hodl company, multi-sig wallet. Basically, it is a 24-7 concierge service Bitcoin Hodl solution for people that have you know, a huge, a significant or big amount of Bitcoin. This is right now is sort of like, you know, for whales basically, but they are definitely moving forward in the direction of supporting um, uh, more people than than the kind of, the, the cream of the crop, if you will. And they have a very interesting way of doing it. So got, we got to talk about some of their services and what they've been up to and um, really quite excited about this company. Full disclosure, I did a little bit of sort of writing work for them recently. I, when I when I did this interview with her, I was not uh, employed with them, uh, so and I'm not employed with them anymore, and so but I worked with them because I'm a big fan of their work, and I uh, can't wait to see uh, their further growth. And special thanks to Parallelly Polis for putting together quite the conference in Prague, bringing together a great deal of crypto anarchy, crypto libertarian, crypto freedom oriented celebrities, and. Um, influencers it was a um, very powerful conference definitely check out their content uh, they have a, an incredible place in Prague and it was the house of Tresor you know the place where Tresor came out and uh, yeah they they put on they put on a great conference so kudos to them check out their content let us know what you think if you like this kind of conversations please uh, let us know share it like it give us some comment tell give us some feedback definitely tell the world and if you like to make a donation that would be incredible because as you know there is no money in journalism you can find me and all my work at juangalt.com that's j-u-n-g-a-l-t.com links below and uh thank you for your attention enjoy the show Elena Vranova, um tell us a little bit about about your your back uh, your background in crypto for people that don't uh, don't know you i'm the co-founder of Satoshi Labs, the company behind Trezor, the first hardware wallet. Uh, recently, I announced my involvement as head of strategy of CASA uh, and also uh, currently working on the B, uh, which is a foundation to support uh, research and development, usability, marketing, and education around Bitcoin. Excellent. Yeah, for those that don't know, uh, haven't followed Elena's work uh, that, uh, too closely, obviously Trezor is one of the biggest hardware wallets in the space, uh, the first in the space, and, and Slush and Slushpool uh, had a big impact on the on the fork, and the Slushpool was one of the biggest, uh, one of the, I think it was like the first mining pool, right? So th th there's a lot of experience and a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of good work that's, that's, uh, that, that you guys have done and that has sort of been around the uh, uh, well, Satoshi Labs and everything. Um, let's talk about Casa. Casa is a very uh, interesting project. It's a new company starting to uh, starting to show up on on the media. And uh, tell us uh, tell us about Casa. So ca Casa Casa is uh, a premium hodler service. Uh, if I could <laughs> I could put it into a simple sentence. Um, uh, the the so I, I'll step step a little bit back uh, by explaining what is needed and how Casa solves that. Uh, with with hardware wallets such as Trezor, we have basically laid uh, good foundations for uh, individual security in Bitcoin. We made it possible for people without techno uh, technological skills uh, to keep their Bitcoin safe in a very usable manner or fashion. Um, the, the main uh, risk that, that uh, Trezor or Ledger are solving is uh, the digital risks, so viruses and hackers, and the absolutely most prevalent risk for a Bitcoiner to have. Uh, mm -hmm. But 
by by creating a hardware wallet, we also introduce uh, a, a completely new paradigm to how uh, to to what people need to do. We we helped uh, a lot, uh, like uh, we help people skipping all these uh, thirty points long how to secure bitcoins. You know that included like getting offline computer and and doing backups and doing encryption and whatnot that people people just don't do. But we also kind of introduced something new, which is a recovery seed. And this recovery seed, that's the 12 to 24 words uh, that help you recover your wallet in, in case you lose it. Um, that, you know, it's, it's uh, tremendously useful but also, uh, um, you know, makes people to go creative uh, in the way they uh, store it. So even though Trezor was uh, and is, uh, uh, you know, putting attention and, and warnings everywhere possible, like do not make a digital copy uh, ever, you, you still go on Reddit and see people posting like, oh yeah, I have all my backups in an encrypted text file uh, online and I was hacked, you know? So um, to, to basically to the, the idea of protecting a piece of paper that contains the keys to all your wealth, uh, for a lot of people, this is a this is a big burden, and they don't know how to go about it. Also, uh, in the past, let's say one or two years, I've noticed a surge in uh, physical attacks that hasn't been that uh, uh, visible before. Uh, and by physical attacks, I mean not just uh, people, you know, evil mates stealing your recovery seat but also uh, extortions and kidnappings. And this is something that, uh, that also needs some better, some improvements. And this is where CASA comes to play. Uh, CASA, uh, first of all, completely does, uh, does completely away with the recovery seat. Uh, how? We uh, use a multi-sig, multi-device and multi-location setup um, that allows uh, anyone with, again, with very little technical expertise to have a multi, multi-signature setup to have several devices distributed around several locations and not having to worry about the recovery seats. So multi-sig has traditionally been, multi-sig has traditionally been seen as a uh, uh, the most secure way to, uh, you know, to, to, to approach big holdings. Uh, but imagine that if you have five different keys, five different, uh, for example, hardware wallets, and then on top you have to protect five different recovery seats, you are actually not in, uh, making your security better, you're making it worse. Uh, you expose yourself to much larger risk because where do I put... Uh, these five different seeds or four different seeds, it should be a different location than the wallets and, you know, stuff like that. So by, by completely erasing the need of, of, of uh, writing down the, the recovery seed, we already uh, made, a, you know, uh, something good for the user experience here. Plus the, 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 the fact that you have your keys distributed and you can have, for example, one hardware wallet at home, you can have one uh, with your lawyer, one in your office or in a bank. This fact uh, increases the, the, the cost of risk for any potential uh, criminal that, that's trying to, to extort you, for example, because when he realizes that, oh, I'm sorry, you know, uh, in order to transfer my money to you, I will need to contact my lawyer and I will need to go to my office. Well, I believe he will think twice if this is worth uh, the money. Uh, so this is, uh, this is like the base of, of CASA. Um, it's, uh, we, we have developed a very simple and intuitive interface of the CASA Keymaster. That's, that's the application, uh, application's name. 
but it's not everything. Uh, CASA is not about the application. CASA provides uh, a 24 seven concierge service to our customers uh, that, you know, brings a, a, a little bit more peace of mind uh, to 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 our users, knowing that anytime anything happens, and they, for example, realize that they've lost one of their their hardware wallets, they know that there is a person they can call anytime uh, during the night <laughs> and uh, get help on on moving on shifting uh, the their money their bitcoins to a new multi sig structure. Does it make sense? Absolutely. That that's um, it's really innovative, and, and uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I never thought of um, to doing away with the seeds using a multi sig. And I've been I've been kind of talking uh, to people about about the multi sig stuff for a while, and nobody has ever mentioned that. So it's uh, it seems to me like a genuine innovation, and I'm I'm definitely a fan and looking forward to to seeing uh, the growth of Casa. Um, and and you guys did an announcement recently where. Uh, Basically, you guys revealed that you've been working with them for a while. You've been doing some strategy uh, <laughs> work with them. Tell us, uh, tell us about that. Yeah, uh, you know, I met uh, Jeremy, the founder and CEO of, of Casa, earlier this year in New York, and um, we had a very informal coffee talk uh, where we basically discussed the reasons uh, for me leaving Trezor and all the ideas that I that I had to to like build basically on top of existing security of Trezor. Um, and we realized that we have very many ideas in common uh, and that we align uh, philosophically speaking. And so it was quite a natural fit for us to, to move forward together. Uh, since then, I've been working on, uh, on the strategy on building, uh, on building like the plans uh, for the future and uh, we kind of been working in a stealth mode until uh, this week uh, when we announced me being the head of strategy uh, for CASA at the Crypto Springs event in Palm Springs. You also, you guys also revealed, uh, released a node, a, a CASA node recently. What's, uh, what's going on there? Yeah, so uh, basically the vision of, of CASA is a sovereign uh, hodler. Okay, it's a secure and sovereign individual, and uh, there is no sovereignty uh, and uh, and, and pr good privacy and security without uh, in Bitcoin without running your own node. However, running your own node until you know today uh, basically required people to deal with uh, command line and and it's not never been easy to to set it up there is actually um, some mobile app that i've been using but it's syncing forever uh ab core um so uh, we uh introduced casa node is a uh, bitcoin full node and the lightning network node in one uh that is not more uh, that much about the the hardware as it is about the software piece. Uh, CASA is all about user experience. We are trying to bridge uh, security and usability. Uh, so even the note uh, is, is just the same intuitive and easy and simple as is the CASA Keymaster. Um, and that is, I think, the most important thing. We've had an enormous uh, positive feedback and interest from the public for the CASA nodes. Uh, we, we give these CASA nodes as a part uh, of the service to our premium customers that are paying $10,000 uh, annually for the CASA Keymaster and the service and the concept service. So that comes as a, as a part of the package, but we also decided to open uh, the opportunity for other people who, you know, don't, uh, are not uh, uh, the potential customer or self of the premium service, but still want to do more for their independence, still want to support, uh, you know, the security of Bitcoin network and its scalability with the Lightning network. 
and they don't know coding and they don't know how to do it easily. So we opened up the Casa Notes to, to public and we were blown away by how people reacted. So I think that was a good move. And uh, a few days ago in Palm Springs, I also announced um, Casa. We want to, in the end, you know, we want, to, even though we started as a premium service, I, in the end, we really want Casa for everyone. So we uh, created a very simple uh, security checklist that is available for free uh, on our website. So when you go to keys.casa and you click join Casa, you can simply click through a few questions about, you know, your password management, about uh, how you uh, protect your keys and stuff like that, and get, uh, get results into your email uh, um, and, and see like what you can improve. I think it's extremely important that Bitcoiners become more and more security aware and that they know, um, you know, what is the basics of the security hygiene for them. Let's put it like that. Okay. And, uh, these, this questionnaire, um, how private is that that information? And uh, I'm sure there's some paranoid people that will listen to this and be like, "Oh, uh, hmm, I don't know if I want to be sharing that kind of information with a company." Is there, uh, you guys? Is there something you guys? Uh, gonna- uh, I mean, the, the the question whether whether you have a password manager or not. I I mean, that's uh, it is basically for your good to to um, to do. Honestly, I will have to circle back. Uh, with my colleagues and see like uh, what, what's what's the issue with storing. We are not asking you about like your address. We are not asking you about how much bitcoins you have. Uh, which is just basically help you to uh, do your own uh, security check. Right. Yeah, and, and education in this space is definitely very important, especially around this uh, this question of securing private keys. Uh, particularly while uh, services that help people do it efficiently and, and securely uh, continue to grow. So I definitely, uh, I definitely uh, appreciate the, the intention there. And I'm sure I'd like to see that, that checklist. Um, so basically I, I can, I can quickly navigate you like through sure. the questions. So we understand that there's no huge privacy implication. The questionnaires I'm clicking through, do you use a password manager? Do you have second factor or two factor authentication for your email? bank and other accounts uh do you have your sim card locked against transfers with your mobile carrier because that's been a huge issue how do you start like do you store your cryptocurrency offline uh do you use a multi-sig wallet stuff like that you know so there these are very general questions uh that you you click through and you get then the results get your personal report yeah, thank you for sharing. And those are um, those are definitely some kind of like the basics of of crypto security and this sort of the new world that we're, that that is being built around Bitcoin. And uh, I was thinking the other day about um, opsec op, op, operational security is the new hygiene. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it's good. This is our tool. Uh, this is a tool that we want to give to people just to basically do their hygiene uh, uh, and be more aware so and spread this as hey uh, do you want bitcoin okay cool uh, so besides just like learning uh, what kind of wallet and where to buy these are the mo- these are the important things to keep in mind yeah definitely is there any any last thoughts on casa uh no, Casa is awesome. Casa has the best team in the space currently, so um, I'm I'm uh, very excited to to work with them. It's uh, it's been a, a good few months. And yeah, you guys have a uh, yeah, Jeremy Welch. He's been definitely around uh, around for a while, and then uh, Jameson Lop, who's basically a, a cyberpunk rock star right now. Uh, is, uh, is, yes. is working with you guys and he's, he's done some really fantastic work on security and privacy and then you actually also have a Carolyn um, hmm, like it out of her last Reco. name yeah yeah Reco Reco and, yeah. and, uh, and she was involved yeah. with uh, Consensus I believe uh, which is a big big she, uh, organization yes she's, 
she's on our operations side. She uh, scaled uh, consensus to a huge company of 900 people all around the world. So she's very experienced there. We have, uh, I will mention just a few people, but uh, we have on the Lightning Network side, we have Thomas Connors and Michael Borklin um, that I brought uh, uh, to CASA. Uh, they've been working on their Lightning Network node uh, before, and they just kind of felt that it's good to to join forces with Casa. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about having uh, Scott Herf, our our uh, designer. That this is a guy who who designed Tinder, uh, who invented the super like. He wow. is not a Bitcoiner, which is amazing because that's exactly the type of uh, you know user focused designer we need uh, for people who are you know getting into crypto. Who for like for example even family offices, traditional small like. Um, hedge funds and and or even individuals you know that want to get into crypto and want to invest a lot uh and don't are not necessarily uh cypherpunks right um so he he i think he's like the god of everything that we do <laughs> uh we have nick fogel on the engineering side who also is an active uh, lawyer with a uh, active license which is very helpful nick neumann uh, for the the product we are hiring people with um with experience from the traditional financial world, from private banking, for example. So we have Kelly Lyons uh, joining us recently from, uh, oh my God, and I, uh, I forgot where from. That was like a big, big bank. Okay, never mind. Okay, so yeah, uh, really, really exciting team in Japan. Yeah, that's great, and and, and this this uh, definitely validates a thought that I've been having lately that you, the, the user experience in in Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrencies is probably going to be um, a good part of it is going to be actually financial services that uh, you know we we people like to think that it's like some magical interface on the phone or you know they'll go super futuristic and say like AI or whatnot, but I think the the reality of the the midterm uh, sort of the time frame is going to be financial services. And there's a lot of uh, very talented financial service providers in the, fin- in the traditional industry that, that, are, that can sort of come to Bitcoin and, and provide a lot of value and, uh, and you know, in, in, in a more, in, in, in dealing with better money. So this is, uh, this is very exciting. So where can people follow um, the work that you guys are doing and kind of stay up to date on, on what you're up to? Uh, there is uh, the, the website is keys.casa uh, and we also have a blog that you can just simply click through it's a medium it's a medium blog um, yeah and on Twitter uh, casa hodl <laughs> awesome well um, I definitely wish you guys uh, the best of luck with that I think it's a, it's a great project and as I said looking forward to its growth this conversation was sponsored by Komodo a zero knowledge peer to peer atomic swap exchange. Learn more at komodoplatform.com. <laughs>